Chelsea have had a week in which they hope their FA Cup semi-final wounds have healed. Manchester United haven't played for 12 days since that Easter Monday win down here in London at White Hart Lane. Here's Rio Ferdinand, collected by Cole. Park, the soldier, as Rude Hullick calls him, gets a foot in. William Gallas, a reluctant left-back, but a very good one. Manchester United captain Gary Neville. And looking at United very quickly, set up with Ronaldo starting on the right, half on the left, so pretty much as we thought. And Lampard gets a tackle in in Manchester United territory. Drogba's on the move, he's got Joe Cole to the right. Just ran off Fittich's legs, and Cole decides we'll have a corner. Oh, it's a hefty tackle from Lampard in the middle. I got ball, but I think he got Ronaldo. He limps away from it. Lampard takes the corner. And it's put in by Gallas. And Chelsea take another step towards retaining their Premiership title. And William Gallas, who's been a goal machine in home games recently, comes up with another priceless effort. It's a set play. You have a job. You have a responsibility to track your men when you mark them. They look at Gallas at the back post. Not tracked. What on earth is it, Sylvester? What is he doing? Why is he attracted to there? Why on earth is he attracted there? He has a job. He has a job. Track Gallas. Well, it's extraordinary for Gallas. Five goals have come in the last eight home games. Here's Drogba, Robin on his right foot. And he would have preferred it on his left. Well, Robin on his left might have had a different ending. Lovely play from Chelsea. Good ball in, lovely control and spin from Drogba and ball and run. Park. Good pressure on Rooney by Carla Ferrara. Oh, well, he uh, thought so, and I thought so. Dean didn't. And I agree with you there. I thought it was good pressure. But the goal must have shocked Manchester United. I don't think there's any doubt about that. This is a team that have only conceded nine league goals here all season. Manchester United need to get two. And there's a Ronaldo. He's got it to dip and in the end bounce in front of Petr Cech. Yeah, he'd have liked it ten yards nearer. This is a long, long way out. It's within his compass, all right. But it needs to be special. Broken for Makalele. Flag has stayed down. Gallas is OK. And uh, marking the space by the near post area. And Rooney on the ball. Sahar breaks Rooney's way again. And he might go it alone here, Wayne Rooney. With a flash of brilliant for, for Manchester United. And it uh, came to a rather sad finish in the circumstances. But how well he broke through. Well, I don't think the grass helps him, and that might sound stupid because I think the ball just slows up here as he passes it past Ferrara. And that touch there, look at it, it's right under his feet. He can't get the right swing in it. Look, he's had to adjust his feet, and he doesn't quite get there. He never quite gets himself set. Absolutely right. He couldn't have wished for anyone better in that position. On this day of all days, Manchester United have to take their chances. They've got problems here. Robin. Oh, there's a ball there. I don't know what he's thinking, Robin. I know it's his right foot, I know it's his weak side, but surely he could just fizz this across the Drogba. Again, they get through and they get beyond them, just there, in the gap, between Ferdinand and goalkeeper. Drogba can't miss. Game might be over now. This is Lampard. Essien. Nice to work. Those are the two midfield players you'd expect to get involved high up the pitch, Lampard and Essien, from central areas. A little reverse ball here. Just to take this early, he hasn't got time to take the touch, Essien. Rudich looking to open his Manchester United account. John O'Shea is very good in the air, but it's all going to end with a Ronaldo shot. He's not the great appreciator of uh, his teammates' positioning. That's Rio Ferdinando. Carvalho comes out to Rooney. Not where he could hit it straight away. He hits it now, and Jack has to really reach for it. He's a tall, angular man, and he needed all his physical attributes to stop Wayne Rooney equalising for Manchester United. That's brilliant. The shot and the save I'm talking about. It's a really poor header from Carvalho, headed it down into the ground. How on earth he gets the power and the accuracy? He sees this so, so late. But look at the way he plunges to his right. That is a top-draw save. That had goal written all over it.
Cole. Cole trying to get on the run of Rio Ferdinand's lost it. Cole has stayed on his feet. Take note. And he's knocked over in the end. Fine finish, but again, Chelsea still have the ball. Again, the referee says play on. Essien. Here's Cole. Can he see a way to goal? Oh. Great effort. It was only that line of the shot. He couldn't get enough power. Not got much room here. It gets under his feet again. He's got nowhere to go. And he just tries to feed it around Ferdinand. And he's got Van der Sar worried enough. Come on, that's a run of Silvestre for Ian Robin. Rio Ferdinand wasn't taken on in the end. Robin decided to take on the shot. Well, to be fair, he doesn't need to take him on. What he has to do with his left foot is just shift it half a yard like he does. At the moment. But here's Joe Cole. Brilliant. Chelsea. Start the party now. Even with half an hour to go. I've said it before this season, but not often. Take a bow, son. Because this is genius. He has totally embarrassed top quality defenders in about a square yard of a football pitch. Watch this. Oh. Watch that and then to finish it. Goodness me. A ever a goal should just totally complete your season, then we've just seen it. A little genius at work. Brilliant, son, brilliant. Oh, and in goes Rooney, near post. Check is needed. Manchester United refusing to lie down and uh, let Chelsea cruise through the remaining time towards being recrowned. And here's Robin. He's not going to get a free kick. Mike Dean says, get up. Oh, don't overreact. Here's Saha. Broken up again by the excellent Ricardo Cavallo, who's given it and gone. I have he's to say, wide left. I don't remember him playing as well as this for Chelsea. I think he's been great today. Manchester United are short of numbers here. Cole, here is Cavallo in on goal. He is playing extraordinarily well. He has just made it 3 0 to the champions. Well, if he's here, start engraving the trophy. It's as simple as that. I think he's been man of the match. I'm not going to influence the lads in the studio. I think he's been brilliant. And that's what I said about stepping forward. Even at 2 0, you'd think a defender would play the ball and then just wait. But he wins it there, and then he thinks, I just fancy this. We're 2 0 up. We're not going to concede two. And you can see they're overexposed. Manchester United have gone for it. They're getting 5v3. And the only question is, has he got a cool enough head to finish it? Answer emphatically. A cool enough head and a strong enough right foot. Time to spare. Bang. Essien. Crespo! Oh, Drogba. Whether he would have been given offside, I'm not sure, but... Uh, Didn't see a flag up. Well, that's a beautiful ball, then. Beautiful ball. Just too high for Crespo. A job, I should score, and it's a horrendous miss. It's put, uh, behind the Manchester United dugout, the medals uh, being prepared. Obviously, uh, a big issue here, but in the, these last few seconds, it is a side issue because this is all about Chelsea. Chelsea. Are England's champions again, back-to-back -back premiership titles in the sweetest way today against their closest rivals, and this time at their beloved Stamford Bridge. It has been done the Jose way. Two seasons here, twice top of the tree. Four in a row when you take in his prizes at Porto. No wonder he thinks he is special.